Casey Hudson worked at BioWare for a number of years, directing many of their games, most notably Mass Effect. In 2014, Casey left BioWare and briefly worked as a creative director at Microsoft Game Studios. He came back to BioWare in 2017 as their general manager, and my hope was that he would be able to write the ship in more of a broad leadership role at the company, but later last year, Casey announced he would be leaving BioWare again for the second time, and at the time, he said that he didn't know what was next for him, but he was excited to find out. Flash forward to now, and here we are. We don't got Casey on the brain because why would we? Then yesterday, Casey Hudson came back into our lives when he took to Twitter to announce he's back on the scene with a new studio. I've been working with some colleagues on something awesome, and I wish I could tell you all about it. For now, I can only say this. Today we are announcing a new independent video game company built to unleash the creative freedom of developers, bringing innovation and artistry to players through an all new IP. We are Humanoid Studios. This is the first tiny step in our journey, and we hope you'll come along with us on the adventure. And that is pretty much all we have to go on. If you go on to the website, Hudson Link has just got the same information he tweeted and some link to job descriptions of what they're looking for. There is not a lot of information otherwise, and if you peruse the job listings, it doesn't give an indication into exactly what kind of IP or genre of game they are working on, so not much to the website here. You might be saying, who cares? There's nothing there, or why should I care? Those are incredibly fair questions, and I simply want to answer it by sharing the same sentiment that Liana Rupert of Game Informer shared in her little write-up about it. This may be my inner Bioware fan reaching a bit, but it sure does sound like this new studio will be keeping true to those choice-driven RPG roots that Hudson is already intimately familiar with through his prior work history. I have to say I agree with Liana here. Something I had been thinking about when playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition is how there really isn't another series out there, at least on the scale of Mass Effect, that tried to do what they did with choice and consequence. And while an independent studio means it won't have a massive budget, I do hope that Casey Hudson's history with the genre means that we can expect an RPG that is of a similar style. I do increasingly think that independent media, be it on YouTube, starting a podcast, doing an Etsy shop, or establishing your own venture entirely, is the way of the future. I am always glad to see people decide they want to be unrestricted by outside forces and pursue their own creative vices and find their own voice. With that, I understand Casey announcing this as a way of putting out feelers to get people interested in applying for these job openings, but part of me wishes, like a lot of these developers and studios, that they would announce their games or their studios or IPs when they had something to tell or show. I think it could create a good media cycle, especially if it's coming from someone like Casey Hudson who has a close history with the industry. Now that is just a nitpick and it's going to be some time before we learn of what Casey and his team are working on. Though I will say too, Hudson used the term we a few times but it's not clear if he actually has anyone on board yet or is just using that as a general figure of speech to just plainly describe that the company will have an emphasis on collaboration though I am also likely reading too far into it. I suppose the way he put it is better than saying I am by myself on this, please, please help me. It's going to be a while before we learn anything, but for now we'll take it as it comes and I am interested to see what they're cooking up. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick news video and subscribe to see more news, more reviews, more discussions, and more incredibly corny jokes that are funnier on paper than they are said aloud. I'll talk to you all soon and thank you for watching.